hello students good morning it's another brand new day and it's the third day in the week how have you been i hope you had a good night and how has your home study been how has it been studying or having school in the house i hope you've been understanding all the topics in all of your subjects and uh, of course i hope if you have any issues from what we've been learning so far do not hesitate to let me know okay make sure you let me know so that we can see how to uh, explain things better to you okay so this morning what are we going to look at it's not something different from what we've been looking at before you can see the measuring jug we have the test tubes and we also have the measuring skills so we're still talking about measures yesterday remember we talked about skills we said let's look at the skills right now uh we said yesterday that skills what skills do is they measure length mass or volume so we said uh we have different instruments for measuring for measuring but we'll just regard all of them as skills now today what do we want to do we actually want to compare one scale to another we'll compare one scale to another so we're still talking about skills like we did yesterday i mean measuring skills all right let's see the next thing it's lesson 11 and unit 7. We'll be looking at uh, uh, unit 7 and 8 today because uh, they're quite related and it doesn't have, there's nothing so much in uh, uh, unit 7. So we can take it together with unit 8, okay? Today we want to compare the readings on different skills. Remember that yesterday we said that uh, we were looking at the measurements that, that are in between two numbers on a scale, right? okay now today we are going to be comparing one scale to another if you remember very vividly yesterday i said to you always check what your scale is measuring in i mean is your scale measuring in kilograms is it measuring in liters is it measuring in milliliters and so on you need to first of all check that all right let's get to the lesson our objective we must always know why we're studying. What do we intend to know by the end of this class? By the end of this class, we must be able to identify the units that our skill is measuring. Okay? We must be able to identify and read the units that our skill measures. For example, if I look at a skill, I should be able to tell if the skill is measuring in kilograms or if the scale is measuring in grams, in most cases, every scale will have the units that it is measuring in, on written on it. So that's what you look out for first, okay? Some of them measure in kilograms and grams. Some measure only in grams. Some measure only in milliliters. And some measure both in milliliters and liters at the same time. So that you must always check before you do your measurements on any scale then we must also be able to tell the difference between one measurement and the other on different scales so for example if one uh, i look at a scale and it's measuring in grams and it's reading the same number as the one that measures in kilograms i should be able to tell that this is 450 grams while this is probably 4.5 grams uh, 4.5 kilograms rather because they are measuring differently even if they are pointing towards the same direction the unit that the scale measures in is different so we must be able to tell the difference also okay now let's get to the lesson proper so what units do these skills measure in We've had, uh, we've spoken about what we said yesterday, the measurements that lie in between two divisions on a scale. That means uh, measurements that lie between two numbers on a scale. Remember that yesterday, I, I, uh, we learned about how we can read the measurements. If you remember very, very well, some of the measurements were reading extra. It, there's the numbers in between the divisions. We're reading 
0 0.1 so you keep adding 0 0.1 to the measurements some were reading 10 so it means you add 10 to your measurements and so on now let's look at this ones how many use units is each one representing let's look at the first scale of course you know this one measures mass it measures the weight of things so it's measuring mass let's look at the green scale if you look very clearly you'll see that the green scale has g written on it correct okay the g means it is measuring only in grams so if you see the red arrow pointing at 100 you don't say it is 1 kg or 100 kg the the uh scale is measuring in grams so we say the, it is 100 grams and not 100 kilograms okay so let's compare it to the next one of course the next one is measuring in kilograms look it's written boldly on it it's measuring in kilograms so whatever you see on it you're going to read it in kilograms okay now where the scale is right now like we learned yesterday it's 3.4 kilograms we mentioned this in the class yesterday it's 3.4 0.4 kilograms okay so we cannot say that this is uh 3.4 grams because this scale is measuring in kilograms okay i believe we understand that and then let's see the third scale the third scale is just similar to this one in the middle it's also measuring in okay no look the the, the one in the middle is uh, having intervals of 500 but the last one here has intervals of what of one one like 1000 1000 grams we said yesterday that we can convert the 1 kg to 1000 grams so it's having a difference of one that's the interval between two numbers all right i believe we understand this now we can compare by looking at the what each scale is measuring we can that it will help us to be able to read our measurements properly let's go to the next one now look at this one this uh is for measuring length this scale is for measuring length in most cases at our stage right now we're going to be using the ruler to measure okay now look at those uh those objects that we have on the screen or maybe we can call them tools that we have on the screen it's also something that is being used for measurement now i want you to take a look at what you can see on written on the tape measure this is called uh, a retractable tape that's what it is called a retractable tape in most cases it is used to measure bigger objects the ones that we measure in meters like the car uh the length of of, of the playground you know or uh, the length of uh, what else can we talk about we can measure the length of the classroom and so on okay so if you see that it's it's on top of it is written 25 feet let's compare it with the other red one it's on top of it is written 7.5 meters now what does this mean to you they are both measure uh, scales for measuring but some of the times they measure different units okay now 25 feet of course is equivalent to 7.6 meters is around 7.6 meters okay so this black one measures the highest it can measure is 7.6 meters and the highest the red one can measure is 7.5 meters we equally have some of them that are that measure a uh, longer uh lengths so it means you're going to see on top of it what it is measuring that's what we're particular about all right all right let's see the rulers look at the rulers we have also take a look at them what do you notice about these rulers one measures in centimeters and the other one measures in millimeters the first one is in millimeters the second one is in centimeters so it is also important for you not to make a mistake for example the first one is reading 4.4 or 40.4 don't make a mistake of saying it is reading 40 centimeters 
four millimeters because this ruler is already in millimeters so it will be an error to say it is 40 centimeters four millimeters okay so please check what you have on your scale before you write the answer for your measurement very very important don't write centimeters when you're supposed to have millimeters it makes the whole answer entirely wrong and don't write centimeters uh, millimeters when you're supposed to be writing centimeters okay please this is very important and when you do measurements don't just leave your measurements without putting the unit if you measured in centimeters write four centimeter that's the essence of this topic so don't write your answers without writing the unit of measurement i'm laying emphasis on that because you always have to write the unit of measurement okay let's see the one that measures in centimeters the one that measures in centimeters says, uh, let's see what it reads. Four, and there is an extra four lines, okay? Each unit in the division between four and five, each unit represents one. We learned that yesterday. So we have 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, and 4.4. So how do we measure this? We say we have four centimeters because the ruler is measured in centimeters. We say we have four centimeters and four millimeters. Okay, four centimeters and four millimeters. Or we can say 4.4 centimeters since the ruler is actually measuring in centimeters. We we'll understand that the 0.4 means a smaller unit of measurement which is not up to a centimeter, which is four millimeters. If you look at the one in millimeters, you can't say 40 points. Why? Because it's already in millimeters and each unit counts an extra one. So it's 41, 42, 43, and 44 millimeters. Okay. All right. I believe you understand that. Now let's go to the next one.